now? Well, well, you know, the Brit Awards, they didn't, wasn't expecting such a big backlash when they said that they were scrapping their non, their gendered categories back in 2021, 2021. And what's happened since is that the writings have been on the wall. Since that decision now, they have their most prestigious prize, which is the Artist of the Year. And there's no females that have been nominated. So you've got the likes of Harry Styles, George Ezra and Storm. Yeah, right, let me just stop you right there, right? Yeah. My heart's breaking for you, so it really is. <laughs> I hope it is. But it's not. Not in the slightest. I say be careful what you wish for. Because if it was an all-female lineup, we wouldn't be sitting here having no, this conversation No, we would be having today. this conversation. You so would we not. We would be it's having this conversation. It's called having your cake and eating this. No, because no. the women weren't calling for the cake. It, it was two men that were calling for it. And then those two men have resulted in no women getting nominated. And you know, so are we in favour then of the Will Young Award and the, what's his name? Sam Smith. Sam Smith Award. Let's give them their own awards. Well, no, maybe what it should be is that the whole point of Sam Smith, what he was trying to campaign for was that these awards were reflective of the society we live in. So by not having no females in your top prize, that is not reflective of the society we live in or the music industry. You know, how but could you would have them if we just kept the categories which said best female artist, best yeah, male artist. That's, what, that's, say, what, yeah. that's what they should have done. They should have kept those categories. But what's happened now, they've made their bed and now they have to lie in it because there's no way that they're going to get rid of this category, the best artist of the year, because what's like going to happen... Sam Smith says so. Yeah, because of really? Sam Smith, yeah. Mm, Definitely, okay. there's going to. Is it true? Is it fair to say though that there aren't any decent female artists that could have qualified? Is it no, is it genuinely loads. the case that the six best artists in this country at this time are only men? What the Brits are saying is that during this cycle of the artists who were eligible for this award, there wasn't many females. Like the odds were stacked against us because for this award there was only 12 females out of 71 males. So if you're looking at the probability, more male were going, more men were going to go through. But what this brings up, it brings a bigger question of how female artists are being treated and why probably are their music not being promoted on a wider level. So this is a biggie, bigger industry discussion. So what's your answer? Your solution is, because you're very wise, I mean, would you say just go back to the way it was? Or what would you I say? think because they've made their bed, they need to lie in it at the sense, because now we have non-binary artists such as Sam Smith who are going to be saying that they should be involved in such categories. But what I think the Brits need to do is they need to introduce like a quota system where they make sure that in such of these categories you're going to have an equal amount nah, of female artists. No, because then artists. you're just getting your box ticking now, aren't well, you? Well, that's what's going to have to happen because they've made it that way. They've got rid of that, they, they diminish that opportunity for females to have an equal chance at being nominated. So now they're going to have to do a thing where they make sure that none of this controversy can be avoided by voting the right amount of females and males and non-binary artists. Well, there we go.